Today, I'm going to explain a avatar spoiler head. In 2154, humans have exhausted Earth's natural resources, causing critical energy crises. The Resources Development Administration mines a precious mineral called unobtainium on Pandora, a densely forested livable moon orbiting Polyphemus, fictional planet. Atmosphere of Pandora is poisonous to humans. Pandora is inhabited by the Navi, a species of blue-skinned, that live in harmony with nature and worship Aiwa, mother goddess. For inspecting Pandora's biosphere, scientists use Navi human hybrids called avatars, operated by genetically matched humans. Jake Sully, a paraplegic unable to use his lower half, replaces his dead identical twin brother as an operator of one. Dr. Grace Augustine, head of Avatar program, considers Sully an incompetent replacement but accepts his assignment as a bodyguard. During directing the avatars of Grace and fellow scientist Dr. Norm Spellman, Jake's avatar is attacked by a thanator and flees into the forest, where he is saved by Neytiri, a female Navi. Witnessing an auspicious sign, she takes him to her clan. Neytiri's mother Moat, the clan's spiritual leader, orders her daughter to initiate Jake into their society. Colonel Miles Quaritch, head of RDA's private security force, promises Jake that the company will restore his legs if he gathers information about the Navi and the clan's gathering place, a giant tree called Home Tree, which stands above the richest deposit of unobtainium in the area. When Grace learns of this, she transfers herself, Jake, and Norm to an outpost. Over the following three months, Jake and Neytiri fall in love as Jake grows to sympathize with the natives. After Jake is initiated into the tribe, he and Neytiri choose each other as mates. Soon afterward, Jake reveals his change of allegiance when he attempts to disable a bulldozer that threatens to destroy a sacred Navi site. When Quaritch shows a video recording of Jake's attack on the bulldozer to Administrator Parker Selfridge, and another in which Jake admits that the Navi will never abandon Home Tree, Selfridge orders Home Tree destroyed. Despite Grace's argument that destroying Home Tree could damage the ecosystem of Native, Selfridge gives Jake and Grace one hour to convince the Navi to emptying that place. Jake confesses to the Navi that he was a spy. After this, Navi captivated both of them. Quaritch's men destroy Home Tree, killing Neytiri's father, the clan chief, and many others. Moat frees Jake and Grace, but they are detached from their avatars and captured by Quaritch's forces. Pilot Trudy Chukon, disappointed by Quaritch's brutality, free Jake, Grace, and Norm and airlifts them to Grace's outpost, but Grace is shot by Quaritch during the escape. To regain Navi's trust, Jake controlled Toruk, a dragon-like predator, feared and honored by the Navi. Jake finds the refugees at the Sacred Tree of Souls and pleads with Moat to heal Grace. The clan attempts to transfer Grace from her human body into her avatar with the help of the Tree of Souls, but she dies. Before the process can be completed. Supported by the new chief Tsute, Jake unites the clan and tells them to gather all of the clans to battle the Resources Development Administration forces. Quaritch forces attack the Tree of Souls, believing that its ruin will weak the strength of natives. Day before the battle, Jake prays to Iowa Mother Goddess of Native, by neural connection with the Tree of Souls, to mediate on behalf of the Navi. During first half of battle, the Navi suffer heavy casualties, but in second half Navis are supported by Pandoran wildlife unexpectedly join the attack and overwhelm the humans, which Neytiri interprets as Iwa's answer to Jake's prayer. Jake destroys a makeshift bomber before it can reach the Tree of Souls. Quaritch, wearing an AMP suit, escapes from his own damaged aircraft and later finds and breaks open the Avatar Link unit containing Jake's human body, exposing it to Pandora's poisonous atmosphere. Quaritch prepares to slit the throat of Jake's avatar, but Neytiri kills Quaritch and saves Jake from suffocation, seeing his human form for the first time. With the exceptions of Jake, Norm, and a select few others, all humans are expelled from Pandora and sent back to Earth. Jake is permanently transferred into his avatar with the aid of the Tree of Souls.